And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. So it's been a cloudy and somewhat cool Saturday, especially this morning, but the temperatures did get into the low to mid 70s for this afternoon. Here's a satellite radar composite. More clouds continue from the west. We're now seeing some green out west toward Rio Grande City. I don't think all of it is making it to the ground. It could be, but uh, the air mass is quite dry, especially out west in McAllen. So I won't rule out an isolated shower, but it's a very small chance. I think most places will stay dry for tonight. My bigger concern is the fog overnight into tomorrow morning. The temperatures are not too bad. Some of you may want a light sweater or jacket if you're going out for this evening, but not terribly chilly. Temperatures right now 70 Rio Grande City, 71 McAllen. Our West Look observation has gone down over the past couple of hours for some unknown reason. So right now not reporting, but most likely in the 70s here at the station as well. 70 in Harlingen and 66 degrees in Port Isabel. So here's the evening planner forecast. We're going to go with 66 at 7 o'clock this evening. Cloudy skies will continue. It is cool at 9 p.m. with the temperature 64 and 63 at 11 o'clock tonight. And watch out for some patchy fog if you're out and about late tonight as well as early tomorrow morning. So here's the surface map. We have a trough of low pressure at the surface shown by the dotted yellow line, producing a few showers offshore toward the Houston area. More showers toward east and southeast Texas and especially Louisiana. One front stalled out over central and north Texas. And look at these clouds coming in from the southwest. This is thanks to those upper level winds transporting some Pacific moisture coming in from the west. There is an area of low pressure out west of Baja California, so these clouds will continue for tonight. We may see some sunshine for tomorrow in the afternoon, but it is going to be warmer with high temperatures back in the 80s. Look at the temperatures right now, 71 degrees in Midland, but 58 degrees in Amarillo, 56 in Dallas, Fort Worth, 45 in Longview. Right now, 56 in San Antonio, 72 in El Paso, but 54 degrees in Houston. Oh, by the way, since the Super Bowl is Minneapolis, St. Paul, right now 15 in the Twin Cities, but 41 Des Moines. Meanwhile, one below Fahrenheit in Bismarck, 15 below in Winnipeg, and 12 degrees in Rapid City, South Dakota. So here's future track. Warm front pushes to the north over the Gulf of Mexico. More rain for southeast Texas and for Louisiana. For us, it stays cloudy in the morning, but then partly sunny skies, maybe some sunshine for the afternoon. If you're thinking of barbecuing tomorrow afternoon, it should be okay, just warm and mostly dry with temperatures in the lower 80s for the afternoon. Then for tomorrow night, late, there is a slight chance for some showers as a weak frontal boundary either side swipes us or comes through. So it is not much of a cool down for Monday with highs in the upper 70s. There is still a slight chance for some showers Monday. However, a much stronger front comes in by Wednesday in the morning. So the temperatures will fall from the 70s on Wednesday. It's going to be much chillier Wednesday afternoon, and especially when you wake up Thursday morning with temperatures in the morning Thursday in the upper 40s. It's going to be chilly during the day on Thursday with highs in the 50s, and it warms up for Friday and Saturday. And then front number three is expected to come in by next Saturday, perhaps in the morning. On the water, we'll have winds out of the south to southwest at 5 to 15 knots. The bay waters will be a light chop. Next tide is a high tide at 623 this evening, and the seas are 2 to 5 feet. Patchy fog, a possibility offshore tonight as well as onshore. So cloudy and cool, low temperature of 61 degrees. Then for tomorrow, cloudy skies in the morning, maybe some sunshine for the afternoon, but it is going to be warmer with a high temperature of 83 degrees. Normal high 73. We'll have winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And here's that seven day forecast. It is just a little bit cooler on Monday. There is a 20% chance of some showers on Monday with a high of 77. Warm and breezy on Tuesday with a high of 84. Then the second front comes in. That's a strong one. We fall from the 70s on Wednesday. There is a 50% chance of some showers on Wednesday, down to 48 degrees by Thursday morning. That's your first one five forecast. Now here's Brandon.